Hey Pitmasters, what is up? Today we are traveling to Spoga. Spoga 2019 because we are meeting up with Roel. He's already there. He left us in, uh, in, in the Netherlands. Hey guys, today I'm not at the barn. Today I am in Köln and it happens to have the biggest barbecue trade fair in the world. Are you tired yet? Yes. <laughs> we found him. How are you doing? Uh, good. Yeah? Yeah, I slept a little bit, partied a little bit. You drank a lot of beer. No, no, no. No? No, it's not true. Orange juice. I always look like this when I drink orange juice. Why are you following me? <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I don't, this is bigger than the barn, so this is going to take a while. We're just going to get a cup of coffee, man. We are here to check out the Camargo Pell Grill. I saw a post of it on Instagram, and the only place we get to see it is right here at this trade fair. It's a massive trade fair. There, all the big brands are here, including all the Chinese brands. It's it's just crazy. If you want to find out about barbecues, this is the place to check out. We're doing a show actually with Camacho, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Eric got heaps and heaps of meat, but we definitely are interested in the pellet grill. So I think we should check it out, Marcia. What is a pellet grill? What? What do you mean? What is a pellet grill? A pellet grill, for you guys that don't know, it's like, um, you know what a pellet is? Yeah. Okay, so it's like, uh, I'm just going to explain it anyway. It's like a compressed bit of wood that they compress into uh, pellets and then they put it you put it in a hopper and it goes down there's like a warm wheel with a, a wire that's glowing starts a fire they got a fan in there and then it becomes a fire sorry for the boring explanation is it that way Where? there oh nice hello good talk this is schön i have i have so eine yeah Ich hab so eine, denke ich, aber nicht, nicht diese. You like it, Marcia? Yeah, let's buy it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> good. 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 Yeah. good, thank you. Yeah. Good, good. Marcus, 0815 barbecue. So, what just happened? While you, while you were talking, we got beer. Who gave you beer? You're too slow. Who gave you permission to drink? What is, what's happening? You're missing it again. Don't feed my people. Don't give them beer. What? You realize we were on our way to a pellet smoker. Here it is. Check it out. So we got this. Let's go. I've never worked with pellet grill before. I see Shazam and it's It's up. like a magic switch. You turn it on and then yeah, it just makes it. food. That's it. Wow. Even better than a microwave. Oh yeah, sure. You gotta explain this. I, right. I don't understand. Alright, so you just load you just load pellets here. Four four kilograms, right? Four kilograms? Yep. Holy crap. Four kilograms at 225. Wow. We'll cook for 15 hours. Wow. At 650. 15 hours? At 650, it will go for five hours. So there's a burn pot in the bottom. This auger pushes pellets down into a burn pot at the bottom that creates the heat. Yeah. You're automatically connected to Wi-Fi when you turn it on, but then you can manually adjust at the grill if you want. Wow. And the temp range is 200 to 650. Why is there not a valve on top? Why is, it, why is this a hole? Is that supposed to be like that? or? Yeah, because the temperature is actually controlled from the heat pot, not by venting. Wow, looks good. But the inside's different too. So it's gonna be a, an internal ceramic framed by aluminum on yeah. the bottom. This is ceramic top, but aluminum bottom. And you have to have a metal deflector plate here. You don't want that to be ceramic. You want to have more air space there and let the, let the air flow through. And why is there no filter? No belt? Yeah. You don't need a gasket here. You're not trying to hold the smoke, you're trying to hold the temperature. Wow. It's gonna smoke on its own with the pellet. When can we have this? Mm, for you? No, March. for everybody. <laughs> April. April? Yeah. April 2020? Yeah. In 2020. Europe? In Europe. Awesome. We're taking this. Are you taking a fucking video? Yeah. We're, no, we're, we're, we got the yeah. video. We're, we're taking the grill. <laughs> Just wrap it up. Guess who's here? We got him. Jeffy, Dolly Sauces. Ah, What's up, brother? Hey! How are you doing? 
Great, how are you? Yeah, fine. You're making everybody this Dolly happy? <laughs> dolly happy? Oh, Dolly, Dolly, Dolly is very happy. <laughs> it's nappy time. Let's get some food. I'm just drinking a beer, bud. What are you doing? Coming up with some crazy new stuff. We're gonna do a double braided New York strip, low and slow, and then reverse sear it. I've never done before. I guarantee you nobody's ever done before. I came up with it on the airplane. Good. <laughs> Great things happen on airplanes. So Chef Eric is braiding that New York strip, creating a lot of surface that he can put smoke on, he can put salt on, so it's gonna enhance flavors. We're gonna put it on the barbecue, let it smoke, and of course, feed the masses. Now the question is, should we put it down like an octopus, or should we braid it? Oh, that's a difficult one. I would, I was gonna say braid it. Yeah, braid it. Good thing I have two daughters. You see how much surface Chef Eric just created. That's surface that you're gonna add flavor to. We're gonna add smoke to it. We're gonna add salt to it. This looks good, beauty. Chef. So we got Chef Virgil here. He's grilling up some flank steaks. They're marinated in oyster sauce. These things are freaking awesome. Check that out. Well, that's looking good, Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What do you think they're done? I'm getting hungry. We're gonna slice them. <laughs> you want me to slice them for you? Yeah, you can slice them for me. Awesome. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> this wonderful meat. Oh, it definitely wow. is. All right, who's hungry? Take a piece. That's super, super tasty flank steak. Come and get it. We got free steaks here, people. People love free food, even if they're not Dutch. Got plenty of flank steak here, people. Come get it. It's terrible. It's terrible. Get out of here. <laughs> Do the dance. Denise is doing the dance, Marshall. Cheap, cheap food. One more. One more. <laughs> Some people keep following me around. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> Awful. That's some of the best flank nagamaki I've ever had. Oh, you heard it. Jeff Eric Proof. It's good stuff. All right, Dream Team, we got a lot of fun stuff going on over here. Pitmaster X is throwing down. Let's, uh, we're going to about to get in the action, okay? We've got three or four cuts that nobody in the world has ever seen, and I can guarantee you that because I made them up on the airplane coming over here. And if you want to, at any time, just ask Chef Eric for a tongue, and he will hand you one. You can join the action. The biggest thrill of my life is when I come to one of these parties, huge success, and I never had to cook because... All of you want to jump in on the action, okay? So take a look at this table as you walk by and we start to fill this space. We've got scorpion steaks over here. We've got something called the braided New York strip. We're gonna call it the cornrow. Bring it in, come on in here. This is what you're gonna wanna see, I'm telling you. We got the New York strip cornrow going on. I know there's a table there. Come on in, come on in, here we go. We took a New York strip and cut it into eight pieces. It was like an octopus at that moment and we braided it into three different braids. When we caramelize, we want more surface area. If only we could get more. This is a case where you get more, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the Big Joe and I'm gonna slide. Notice how this isn't braided. This is still connected, right? Now we're gonna take this and slide it right. Remember I told you I've got all the charcoal banked to this side, right? So it's a little hotter. I need that because it's a little thicker here. We're not gonna hear too much sizzle. This is a low and slow. Beauty. And that's just what I want. We've got this seasoned up with a little salt, pepper, and scorpion rub. I'm also gonna place some other things on this grill so that it looks really cool. I'm gonna fill all the space. We're getting a nice sizzle. We're sitting at, I wanna make sure I get my Celsius right. We're at about 150 Celsius. So that's about, let's call that 300 Fahrenheit. Can you see the bubbles? We're already getting caramelization. Can you hear what's going on? That's why a lot of chefs don't allow music in their kitchen because so much of cooking is not just sight, smell, and taste. I want to be able to have my back to the saute guy and hear a sizzle or not hear a sizzle when something goes in the pan. So this is a lamb rack and we sliced it and we turned it into almost like a crown roast. Now it's very thick here, not thick here, so it's going to transfer its power. It's going to be great. Cook evenly, just like that. Good caramelization, absolutely love it. All right, folks, we're gonna go ahead and flip this uh, 
the old Corn Row New York strip. We're gonna use a pizza peel because we have a very large surface. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so we obviously don't wanna flip it this way, right? So we're just gonna tilt it up and with a positive pressure, lay it down. One, two, three. That's magic. We're gonna get a little more seasoning here. We probably got about six, seven minutes. We'll bring it out, we're gonna let it rest, we're gonna slice it, you're gonna love it. Pick this up. No, no, you're, you're good, in. you're good. You're in the right place. Look at this. Yeah. You're good, you're good. <laughs> All right, folks, come check this out. If you've ever taken a picture of food, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. It's great, you've never seen this before. First time done. Whenever <laughs> Eric was sleeping on the plane and he drenched up a dish and it looked like this. So we're gonna let this rest. I need to get a cutting board so I can set it on top. We're gonna to let it rest for a minute. Wow, doesn't Pitmaster X look so strong? <laughs> Why are you just poking me? All right, folks, we're going to clean this table up and we're going to slice the New York strip. This guy's ready. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's smiling all the way. So, I don't think this has ever been done. Uh, I can tell you right now, I'd probably like it a little less done, but we're going to be great. Remember, every slice we get, we're getting eight portions, which is really cool. So what's going to happen as this begins, the myoglobin begins to interact with the oxygen. It's going to bloom out. It's going to look a little bit more medium rare. It's going to begin to pink in here in a little bit. Before we put, we're going to put a little salt on there. We're going to put a little sauce on there. A little bit of salt. Don't take it just yet. Look at this plate, people. Now, what I want you to do, guys, is when I'm serving out this plate to you, I want you to grab a piece and tell me how good it is. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Chef Eric. Good. Uh, put some salt on the board, dip them in there. So that's been a wild block party. We did a lot, a lot of fun dishes that nobody's ever seen before. I reckon that's what Spoke is all about. What's coming up in 2020? And that's the nature of the beast. Love hanging out with my good friend Pitmaster X. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the show at Spoga. All the food's gone. Everybody <laughs> ate everything. So we're moving on. On to the next bit. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be the tour guide of today. And this. This is, you're gonna love this. This is the best burger place in all of Cologne. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's here. It's the fat coup, the fat cow. Let's go inside, grab a burger. Oh. Hamburger de Woche. Fang da an, ne? Ja, fang mal an. Oi. Das ist geil. Bitteschön. Danke. Gut, dass Sie zusammen. Thank you, Chef. Now that's what I call an Instagram burger. I, they can't eat it like this. Normally, you would just grab it. Let me tell you first what, it is, what this is. It's called the, the Swarte, the Black Nodo Burger. Cheese, volcano fries. It looks amazing. We got nacho cheese, we got nacho chips, not, we got cheese, a little bit of ketchup. Of course, we got a burger. And we got cheese sauce. I'm gonna try. Are you ready for this, Marcel? Mm. <laughs> it's freaking good. It's a chili cheese sauce. I love that. Nice and spicy. Mm. Fantastic. So, what are we going to do now? Party! It's party time! We stopped our toys and now it's time to dance! Time to dance! Let's go!